At the heart of H.G. Wells' classic The War of the Worlds lies one of the most chilling alien invasions in science fiction history. The Martians aren't just terrifying invaders, but are also a fascinating biological puzzle. Today, we'll break down their biology, adaptations, and how they might function in reality. From their physiology to their weaknesses, let's uncover what makes these extraterrestrial beings so intriguing. In the novel, the Martians are described as head-like beings with massive dome-shaped brains and no bodies as we understand them. Instead, they have two large dark eyes, a single tentacle-like appendage, and a beak-like mouth. This minimalist anatomy suggests they've evolved for efficiency in a way that prioritises mental capabilities over physical complexity. Without a digestive system like ours, they directly consume the blood of their victims, absorbing nutrients in a highly efficient manner. This may suggest that their biological systems have evolved to bypass energy draining processes like digestion, instead operating on a more parasitic model. Their highly developed brains imply an advanced nervous system, allowing for precise control of their appendages and machinery. Why do the Martians lack traditional limbs or organs? Wells's Martians seem to represent a hypothetical evolutionary endpoint where intelligence becomes the sole driver of survival. Over countless generations, they may have shed unnecessary body parts to conserve energy, leaving only the components required for thought, manipulation, and feeding. This design hints at a planet where the environment is either so hostile or so resource scarce that energy efficiency became paramount. The Martian's physiology suggests a society dependent on technology. Why evolve robust physical bodies when machines can do the heavy lifting? Their design highlights a fascinating interplay between biology and technological reliance. Alongside the Martians comes the mysterious Red Weed, a plant-like organism that spreads rapidly across Earth. The Red Weed seems to be a form of extraterrestrial vegetation adapted to Mars's ecosystem. Its explosive growth hints at aggressive genetic engineering or symbiotic relationships with Martian technology, designed to quickly convert Earth into a hospitable environment for its creators. However, its inability to thrive in Earth's wetter, oxygen-rich climate speaks to its alien origins. Like the Martians themselves, the red weed struggles to adapt to an environment vastly different from Mars, underscoring how dependent they are on their home conditions. The Martians don't rely on their bodies alone. Their tripods, heat rays, and other advanced technologies are extensions of their physiology. The tripods, in particular, are described as being almost alive, suggesting a fusion of biology and engineering, a form of biomechanical symbiosis. This raises the question, have the Martians transcended traditional evolution by merging with their technology? Their reliance on these machines could point to a civilization that has externalized many of its physical needs, focusing entirely on intellectual development and technological dominance. However, this reliance also leaves them vulnerable. Take away the machines, and their minimalist bodies are ill-equipped to survive. Wells describes Mars as a dying world, with harsh conditions forcing its inhabitants to adapt in extreme ways. The Martians likely evolved from more complex organisms, shedding unnecessary traits like limbs and digestive organs as they became more reliant on their intellect and technology. Over time, their evolution may have prioritised efficiency, leading to the streamlined parasitic beings in the novel. Their reliance on blood as a nutrient source suggests they once had a predator-prey dynamic on Mars. However, the depletion of resources on their home planet might have forced them to turn to technology and interplanetary conquest for survival. Their symbiosis with machines, such as their tripod vehicles, indicates a culture where biological evolution and technological progress became inseparable. 
It's also worth speculating on whether the Martians were the only intelligent species on their planet, or if they outcompeted others in their evolutionary arms race. Did they develop their parasitic behaviour by preying on other sentient beings on Mars, similar to how some parasitic insects manipulate their hosts? Martian technology is terrifyingly advanced, blending biology and engineering seamlessly. Their iconic tripods are marvels of mobility and adaptability, suggesting the use of lightweight yet durable materials, perhaps derived from Martian resources. These machines are equipped with heat rays, an energy weapon capable of incinerating anything in its path. The black smoke they deploy as a weapon indicates chemical warfare on a level Earth had never seen at that time. This weapon could be the result of sophisticated biochemistry designed to suffocate and incapacitate foes while leaving the environment intact for their colonisation efforts. The Martians, despite their technological prowess, are poorly adapted to Earth's conditions. Their physiology is accustomed to Mars's lower gravity and thinner atmosphere, meaning Earth's gravity places a tremendous strain on their bodies. This is why they rely heavily on their machines for locomotion and survival. Their inability to digest Earth's food sources underscores their dependence on parasitic feeding. This reliance makes them extremely vulnerable to disruptions in their food supply. Furthermore, the Martians lack immunity to Earth's microbes, an oversight that ultimately leads to their demise. If Martians were to invade today, how might humanity respond? Modern science offers potential countermeasures. Biological warfare is one option. Understanding their vulnerabilities to Earth's microbes, targeted pathogens could potentially act as weapons against them. Environmental manipulation is another. Alerting the Martian invaded zones to create conditions hostile to the red weed, such as flooding or extreme temperature shifts, could slow their speed. Electromagnetic countermeasures is a further method of deterring the Martians. Given the biomechanical nature of their tripods, disrupting their systems with EMPs might neutralise their technological advance. While Wells wrote the Martians as a symbol of unstoppable power, modern science reminds us that adaptability and knowledge are humanity's greatest strengths. H.G. Wells' Martians continue to fascinate us because they embody both the fear of the unknown and the awe of what lies beyond our planet. Their advanced intellect, horrifying physiology and ultimate vulnerability make them one of the most compelling alien species in fiction. The War of the Worlds challenges us to consider our place in the universe and reminds us that survival isn't just about strength, it's about adaptability, cooperation and respect for the natural world. And if the Martians ever return, let's hope we've learned enough from their first invasion to hold our ground. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button and the subscribe button to be notified of future uploads. Also, if you're feeling generous, you can become a member or a patron by following the links in the description. I'd also like to thank my current members and patrons who can be seen here. I upload a new video every Friday and I would very much like for you to come back and check out the next one. So, once again, please hit the subscribe button to be notified of that new video. This has been the BewareCast and I will see you next Friday. Take care.